Hi and welcome to Liberty Benton High School. Highly hosted tonight's little Monday night non-conference action in girls basketball. The Crestview Lady Knights visiting the Lady Eagles of Liberty Benton. Two schools having remarkable seasons and get to clash to tune up for postseason play, which is now within sight as we're post-tournament draw here this evening. Garrett Mansfield next to Dar Nevergal tonight at Liberty Benton. And Dar, you, you look at this one, and you, you could look at this contest in December and be like, you know that's going to be a good good contest. And here we are, both teams flirting with 20-win seasons and continuing the historic success that they've had year after year. Oh, absolutely. You look at Liberty Benton, 14-4. and four, They're coming off a loss to Bryan, but... 14 and 4 overall, 6 and 0 in the BBC, and Crestview at 17 and 2 and 6 and 1 in the Northwest Conference. And you know, both of them have a familiar loss. They both lost to Otto Blandorf this season. But you know, this is going to be a great matchup. And you look at it on paper. I mean, there's two teams that look almost identical. You know, two big scores for each one of them. You know, and the Gregory girl for Crestview, and of course the Gherkin girl for uh, Liberty Benton. So, big battle in the in the in the inside. I think this game is going to probably come down to. One of the non-role players that you really think about. I think somebody's going to step up on the outside for him and hit some shots that's really going to make this game very interesting. Yeah, it's going to be great. You have two teams that feature players that are not just four-year letter winners, but they're approaching all-time scoring records at their respective schools in Lauren Gherkin and Callie Gregory. And they, what they also have in common is they have uh, they have three, you know, three first team all-conference awards each, each. And, yes. and that's just in basketball that doesn't include what they've done volleyball wise both of them were volleyball player of the year in the fall again Gregory multiple awards with that for Crestview both will play at the next level Gregory uh, intends to go to St. Francis in Fort Wayne and Gherkin uh, just up 75 to BGSU in that strong program at the center circle, it'll be Lauren Gherkin that controls the tip for Liberty Benson over Kennedy Kreider, and we are underway. Here's the starters for the Lady Eagles. They'll go out with Sophia Barbara, a senior. Lauren Gherkin is a senior. Addie Crow, a senior inside. Crow with the catch right there down into Gherkin. Uh, other two starters, you have Cora DeHart and the fifth starter, Emma Hooper. All senior starting five for head coach Chad Lee. A look inside, missed and brought down by Crestview to start the basketball game for head coach Mark Gregory and the Crestview Knights. It'll be Casey Gregory, a freshman in the lineup. L.A. Klein, a junior at the guard position. The senior, Callie Gregory, and the other two, Kennedy Kreider, a junior, and Josie Kowicki, a sophomore. Turnover hands it back to Crestview. Yeah, that's a Crestview, just first turnover of the game, and they're only averaging about nine turnovers a game, so that's a little unusual for them. Caught them a little bit off guard on that pass there. The girl really wasn't looking for it, just bounced out of bounds. But Crestview on that first possession by Liberty Benton played some great defense just to keep Liberty Benton away from the, the basket, and Curtin threw an off-balance shot and couldn't get it to go. Both sides shoot the three pretty well, but again, it starts with that strong post play to open things up. And Gregory comes away with a steal for the Lady Knights. Yeah, the flip side, the Eagles with about 12, 12 turnovers a game. So they do turn the ball over, but they also uh, control a lot of the offensive rebounds. Gregory with an offensive rebound, and it's going to get turned back for Liberty Benson. They're going to get a whistle down below, and they're going to mark a foul against Gregory. That'll be her first, team's first of the first quarter. Still scoreless, a bit and a half into this ball game. Crestview puts up about 57 points a game as they apply pressure for the Eagles having to go full court. Defensively, just 30 points a game. Liberty Benson gives up 33 a contest, 53 scored for the Lady Eagles, and that's going to tell you something there, Dar. These two teams, they lock it down defensively, and I'm sure it begins with that size. Uh, that's why I said, you know, that it, on paper you look at them and it's almost identical. Everything as far as score-wise and defensive-wise and you know, one lead, one big scorer on each side. So a lot of similarities out there. Inside look for Cora DeHart. Missed and picked up by Crestview. It's Gregory out of the backcourt. Here's Ellie Klein for the Lady Knights. Still scoreless. As we're still looking for the first basket of the contest. 
Crestview 17-2 and two entering this one. Nice backdoor look for Gregory, and she has that, that shot disrupted by Sophia Barbara. Rebound for the Eagles. A couple good looks now for both teams, but they haven't been able to find the bottom of the net yet. Nice inside out, Gherkin to Barbara. Long three is missed. And the dead ball rebound hands the ball to Crestview. First sub of the game for the Lady Knights. And Crestview will mark the ball up the floor. Crestview wants to get it on the inside. They want to get it to the big girls on the inside, but they haven't been able to do that yet. Offensive rebound again, second possession in a row. The Lady Knights have picked up a second chance. And yeah, they're now doing a nice job of back boxing out on the inside. Klein to Gregory. Gregory averages 19 points a game. Five and a half rebounds to lead the team at both ends. You flip over to the Liberty Benton side, Gherkin. Wearing number 23, 21 and a half points a game and nearly nine rebounds. Long three from Casey Gregory off back iron, tracked down by Addie Crow, but turned over Gregory with the steal and the layup for the game's first basket. A second turnover by the Eagles, and that one then cost them. Nearly halfway through this opening quarter. Sophia Barbara check inside and a missed from point, rank, point blank from Dehart. Liberty Benton not getting any second opportunities either. You know, they get the misses, but you know, they're not getting any second shots at it. And, you know, Crestwood's doing a nice job of bouncing them away from the basket. You gotta credit the Lady Knights for taking those second chance shots away. Casey Gregory on the drive, kick to the short corner for Kreider to the top now for Ellie Klein. Three-pointer won't fall. Rebound brought down by Lauren Gherkin. She'll push the envelope. 2-1-2, two two. and the D1 commit fires across court, finds Crow on the other wing. Almost picked off by Crestview on that one. Now high post, Gherkin will dish, open look for Addie Crow. Three ball goes for Liberty Benson, and the Lady Eagles take the lead. Nice movement by the Eagles to get to her open on the outside like that. Pulled everybody away from them. Of course, everybody concentrating on Gherkin on the one side leaving Abby Crow, uh, Addie Crow open on the other side. Now both teams have notched scores on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. Callie Gregory will reset from the top for Crossview. High post dump for Ellie Klein. She dips and is blocked by Lauren Gherkin. And now Gherkin, little one on three with a nice finish oh. with the right hand. Now, when you see your big girl go all the way down from, you know, take it all the way down the length of the court and lay it in. Klein to Kelly Gregory. Right side, long three, good. And there'll be a timeout taken by Liberty Benson. We'll take one, two. Near the end of the first quarter, and we are tied up 5-5 here on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Out of the timeouts. And the Eagles with the basketball. 5-5 scored. Three-pointers answered back and forth here in the early going, but we have seen Dar a very defensive game as Emma Hooper unloads a three. Round on the rebound for Crestview, coming back the other way. Oh, nice pass in. And that'll be missed by Kulwicki, but a foul coming up. Fouls on number 23, Laura Gerken, her first, team's first. 2-11 mark, and the foul goes for Liberty Benson. It'll be marked as that goes down. At the line by Haley McCoy. Haley, a 67% free throw shooter, 11 for 16 now on the season. That's up about three points a game. And McCoy unloads, and it's missed. 
And brought down by Lauren Gherkin. So Crestview, though, does grab the lead because of those free throws. And back on the offense, Zaven, Lindsey May checked in here for Liberty Benton, but Gherkin has a look in on the interior, rattles away and goes out of bounds. A rebound's gonna, rebounding is going to be a real key in this game, Garrett, because, you know, you're looking at two teams, you know, Liberty Benton averaging almost 29 rebounds a game. You know, Crestview coming in averaging about 28 rebounds a game. So both of them can get up there off the boards. It's a matter of who's going to get those second opportunity shots and control the, game, the boards in this one. Kick to the corner for Josie Kulwicki. Down inside for Maya Etzler. And Etzler turns, has it blocked by Gherkin. And it's picked up by Liberty Benson. Still with a 6-5 lead, final 80 seconds of this opening quarter. Inside for Gherkin, and four Knights collapse around her. Been able to get kick it away. From the elbow, missed, and it is Ellie Klein that has to tip it away, and it goes off of McCoy out of bounds. Staying with Liberty Benton here. Crestview doing a great job of just rotating their defensive players around and just, you know, getting to the ball. I mean, they're going after everybody. You know, who touches that ball, they're dropping two people around them and just going right at them. And a steal off the inbound by Ellie Klein, thrown ahead for Casey Gregory, finishes with the right hand. Four points now for Casey Gregory. Now Hooper with a shovel pass to Sophia Barbara. Now Hooper up top as Gherkin works against Etzler in the high post. There's a skip. Callie Gregory, those long arms get up there and just steal the basketball away. Now she weaves through traffic, gets stopped by Hooper, pulls up, misses short, and it's snagged by Barbara again on the rebound. That's four turnovers now for Liberty Benton. Into the corner for Addie Crow. Kick to the top for Hooper. And now look at this ball movement. Seeing it consistently as they're able to find the ball to Gherkin. And I guess that's one thing there, Darn. We'll, we'll touch on that after the quarter break. As I think about it, we have 10 seconds to go. And a Kennedy Kreider three is short. Rebounded by Liberty Benton. That should do it for our quarter. And a late heave by Gherkin is going to fall well shy. But an 8-5 lead for the Crestview Lady Knights after one. We'll take a timeout return on WOSN. Eight five after one of the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard here on WOSN, an eight to five score after one. And Dar, you look at both teams, they have a couple of players, and specifically right now for Liberty Benson, Lauren Gherkin is going to be the focal point of the offense, and we see that through the numbers, uh, putting up over 20 points a contest. And how do you get away from that? How do you neutralize that? Well, that's the good ball movement, and we're seeing both teams really do that, moving the basketball around. Yeah, they certainly are. But in Gherkin's case, they are able to get the ball into Lauren Gherkin. The problem is, is they're getting it into her, and she can't get it. She's not close enough to the basket. I mean, she's doing a lot of short little jump shots, but a lot of them been off balance and stuff. Crestview being able to push her away from underneath the board, and that's great for them. You know, not so good for uh, Lauren Gherkin, because they, that's where she dominates on the inside. And a corner three for Callie Gregory. She now has two from outside. And Crestview is up by six. Gregory leads the team now with 31 makes from outside. And that accounts for nearly half of the team's three-pointers. Yeah, 38% three-point shooter. Boy, that's that's something yeah. to say. Here's Gherkin from atop the arc. Dribbles left. And Sophia Barba. And has a defender go down and makes an open 18-footer. That's her first basket of the night, averaging about three points a game. And you know, the defender just went down on that one and left her wide open. Uh, that, they're going to mark that as a three. I don't know, Dar, did you have a good look at that? It, it didn't look it like, looked a like she was inside the yeah. arc. Gregory yeah. trying to answer. Tracked down by Crestview. The Lady Knights have crashed the boards well in this game. Inside out from Etzler. Then the Klein. And 
That rim is soft as butter, Dar, but it not is. quite soft enough to have that basketball roll in. Open look for Emma Hooper. Clanks off, climbed with the miss. She's three on three. That's a drive right down the middle and is fouled going to the rack. That'll be Barba for her first. Both sides just... Klein's a 95% free throw shooter. 38 for 40 coming into this game. First free throw goes down for Klein. As a team, Cressu shoots very well at the free throw line, 75%. Second one good for Klein. Yeah, Dar, she is... That now makes her 40 of 42. That's unbelievable. <laughs> that's incredible. Her number is bigger than the misses of free throws. Maybe that's the goal. That I'm only allowed to miss. The, the miss budget is only four <laughs> this year. <Yeah. laughs> oh, Back good. to her look. Hooper, oh, oh, look out. Maya Esler slaps that one into next week, and it's only Monday. And we, where did she come from? That's what they're all looking at. I'm like, where in the world did she come from? Uh, she's listed at 6'2". That wingspan looks good. 6'5 plus, those long arms. Boy, there's claps on Gherkin every time, too. There's two players on her all the time. And now Josie Kowicki down below, but an open look. That opens it up for Lindsey May. And she knocks down the big shot for the Eagles. Starting to get some rhythm to this basketball game, Dar, but a foul on the other side. Lindsey May had one three-pointer coming into this game. <laughs> what? When you when do you want your second one? That's a good time right there. That's a neat, that's a time when the Lady Eagles were hungry for a basket and got it. Here's Josie Kowicki at the line. And it rims off for the sophomore, shooting 58% at the stripe. Putting about three points a game. Yeah, we talked about them being a 75% free throw shooting team. So if it gives them a close at the end, you know, free throws could play a big part in this. But Liberty Bend is also a 68% free throw shooting team. Inbound for Liberty Bend. Love to go through some traffic here up the floor. DeHart pass is picked off by Crestview. Kennedy Kreider got in the way of that pass. Now Callie Gregory pulls oh, up for the free out. throw line. Beautiful finish. That's eight points now for Callie Gregory. There's a travel in the backcourt for Liberty Benton. Now that Gregory just now 10 points from tying the Crestview all-time lead in program history. Incredible volleyball star as well. Here's Casey Gregory from the wing. And reversed around. Gregory comes back to the high side. And Crestview will start it over. Crestview up by five, content to just kind of work it around now. And got a nice bounce as Gherkin had her head turned defensively. Now Etzler dumped off for a cutting. Casey Whoa. Gregory misses high off the rim and rebounded by Liberty Benton. Eagles need a basket here. And there Etzler. Get those long arms in front of the passing lane. Forces the seventh Eagles turnover. And there is Klein fighting through some contact to get the score and a timeout taken by Liberty Benton. We'll step aside also. Crestview by seven, mid-second quarter on WOSN. Eighteen eleven on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard here on WOSN. The Eagles of Liberty Benson trailing Crestview on their home floor. And there's a big reason why. Early turnovers. Callie Gregory grabs the steal, but a missed shot in transition by the Knights. Crestview putting on just enough of a press to really aggravate Liberty Benton right now. And there, Etzler has those long arms up, but 
Lauren Birkin sneaks by, gets the bucket and the foul. That will be the first on Maya Etzler. Now, Laura Gherkin, an 86% free throw shooter, 70 for 81 coming into this game. And Gherkin releases and hits. Five points for Gherkin in the early stages. Here, Casey Gregory. Drifts off right side for Kelly Gregory. Got it open, Klein on the other end, skip pass, and a three ball rattles home for Ellie Klein. Seven points now for Ellie Klein. You're seeing what Crestview, they get good spacing, get good skip passes, and there's a nice look for poor Dehart, and she knocks down the triple. Her ninth triple of the season. Four different players have hit three-pointers for Liberty Benson. It's been a good chunk of their scoring. Crestview has answered with three of their own, but they've done a lot more damage at the line. Crestview has taken six free throws to just one by Liberty Benson. That was the Gherkin and one here moments ago. And how this one has flowed back and forth, but incredibly eight to one right now on the turnover margin in favor of Crestview on the cleaner side taking care of the basketball. Yeah, they've done a nice job just, you know, not making any mistakes, not making any mental errors. You know, they're content right now with the lead just to work around, get the best shot. Gregory backs up for a long three. Hits off, but it's going to be picked up by Dehart. And a skip for Dehart at the top. Thought about a cutting pass for Lindsey May. And now inside, and Etzler bats it around where it's found by Barbara again, recollected by Liberty Benton. Etzler doing a lockdown job on Gherkin, and there she walls up, gets the miss, and the rebound. That's textbook right there by the senior down inside. Again, kind of pushing Gherkin out away from underneath the basket. And a pass right to Lauren Gherkin. Ellie Klein looks like she expected a teammate to be in that, in that spot. Yeah, I think she wanted to expect somebody to cut it across there. And Gherkin, another fadeaway look from the baseline, grabbed by Gregory, and she goes right down the gut. And that rattles away, but an offensive rebound. Catch and shoot for Casey Gregory falls. <laughs> Nothing but the bottom there for the Lady Knights. They're up by six again. And that's six points now for Casey Gregory. Well, seven point leads currently for Crestview. And Etzler with a deflection of a Lindsey May layup. Loose ball. And will we have a tie up? Indeed. Arrow is pointed to Liberty Benton with a minute two. Kennedy Kreider returns to action. Looking up and down the some of the numbers for Crestview this season. Etzler, both Gregory's and Klein have the chunk of the scoring, and right now, that's who's doing some of the damage. Not a score yet for Etzler off the bench, and she just went to get a breather before halftime. But on the Liberty Benton end, Crow, Dehart at about nine points a game each. Lindsey May with seven, and then Lauren Gherkin pretty much runs the rest of that offense. There's a tip ball by Gherkin, prize the ball away from Callie Gregory, and here we go for the final 35 here of this second quarter with Liberty Benton. Can they play for one? Trying to make it a one possession game before halftime. In the corner, pump fake, and now a reversal inside for Lauren Gherkin. Kick playing inside out. There's a three on the way. In and out, Gherkin with the offensive rebound and scores the putback. Final 10 for halftime. Crestview. Klein steps up for three. Go! And that'll do it for this first half in an impressive opening two quarters for Crestview. The Lady Knights take a seven point lead into halftime on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. We'll pause, be back for the second half on WOSN.
Welcome back to Liberty Benton. Halftime wrapping up. And the Crestview Lady Knights holding a seven-point lead at the halftime break. Garrett Banfield next to Darnevergal. Dar the the Lady Knights and the Lady Eagles shot well from long range in the first half, but when it comes down to it, turnovers were really kind of what set the stage. But anything else stick out to you? Well, turnovers and free throws, because right now uh, Crestview's leading in the free throw market with four for six for 67% to just one for one for uh, Liberty Benton. But yeah, both teams, you know, eight for 16 between the two of them, both of them four for eight from three-point range. But Neither one of them shot very well on the inside, you know, two-point range and only hitting 33% for Crestview and 32% for Liberty Benton. So turnovers are the big thing, you know, right now with the advantage to uh, to Crestview. They've only turned the ball over three times to eight for uh, Liberty Benton. So the big thing for Liberty Benton is they just got to get somebody from the outside to hit a couple shots and pull Crestview away from that outside, from that inside. Kelly Gregory makes it the fifth from outside. For Crestview, she's now in double figures with 11. Inching closer to the all-time scores mark in Crestview's history. A ball thrown away by Liberty Benton. The turnover count continues to climb. And not how you wanted to start out this second half. And I know that the coaches went in there and made some adjustments and stuff, but right now it seems like the same as what we had in the first half. Crestview doing a nice job of getting the ball in there. Maya Etzler finds Gregory inside. Ball still being contested between Gherkin, Etzler, and Gregory. The Eagles emerge and head up the floor. Gherkin with two defenders there, draws contact. I think they're going to give Maya Etzler for her second. No, Ellie Klein. Oh, that's one adjustment I can see that the Liberty Benton, they, they need Gherkin to get to the foul line. They need her to get on the inside, get some shots in there. If they don't fall, they need at least to get her to the foul line. Gherkin releases and scores. Just the second free throw attempt of the game for the Lady Eagles. I mean, you got a girl that's six foot one, but hitting 86% of her free throws and taking you know, 81 plus free throws this season. Well, that's what it takes to play Division I college basketball. Not only is size a good thing, not only the points a good thing, you gotta be able to shoot the basketball from a variety of spots also. Be another, another member of, from the pipe from Liberty Benton to Bowling Green. Several have had successful careers doing that. There's a turnover for Crestview. Been a rare sight tonight, Darn. Yeah, just four turnovers. They only, like I said, they only average just over nine turnovers a game. So they don't turn the ball over a whole lot, and they certainly haven't done it tonight. Addie Crow misses from outside. Going to be off of Crestview last. Will stay with Liberty Benson. Yeah, Addie Crow had a big three-pointer in that first half, and she's somebody that they really need to hit those three points on, on the outside. You know, she's averaging about eight points a game just to get Gherkin open on the inside. Gherkin gets that one to roll in. So she's in double figures now with 11. And Crestview looking to answer. Inside, Etzler from right in front of the hoop, banks it home. And a great feed around that one right there to get her open. First score of the night for Maya Etzler. Two that. teams that... They've been meeting the last couple of years. We got a whistle down near the baseline. Looks like they're going to get Crestview for a foul. And it's going to be the second on uh, L.A. Klein. But look at some of the pedigree of these two basketball programs. Third straight year of meeting, but they've been in December the last two years. Crestview got last year's game by 9, 45-36. Liberty Benton the year before, 56-38 in this building. And right now, the Lady Knights with an eight-point lead. It's a little different feel when you're playing in December versus now you're... Uh, now, yeah, now yeah. that you've got a lot under your belt and you, you know, worked all, all the kinks and... Uh, usually when you're playing in December, as a oh. steal is snagged there by Klein. 
And Klein gets found going up for a layup. Usually when you're playing in December, you can anticipate, oh, these are going to be two good teams. And in late January, you're like, or actually now in February, you're like, yes, those are two good programs going at it. I mean, there's a lot of wins on the board right now. 31 wins between the two of them so far. First one up for Klein, good at the line. She's now three of three. Lindsey May checks in for Liberty Benton. And if you, even if you look around, you look at the banners of the gymnasium here for Liberty Benton, and you know what's up at Crestview. Also is equally as impressive. And you're seeing it. 25 BBC championships for Liberty Benton. You know that obviously this is the last, I shouldn't say obviously, but this is the last go rounds for that to be the case before the Lady Eagles, well, the Eagles as a whole leave the conference. And for Crestview in the Northwest Conference, winners of 17 conference titles. So there is, talking about 31 wins on the board. Yeah, you, you, you mixed all that up as well. You have 42 conference championships represented here today too. Yeah, and it's obvious out there as you watch these two teams go against each other, you know. They, they both had, and Liberty Benton's been known to have, you know, like the, the Butler girl before the Gherkin girl, and, the, and, and, you know, they've had big post players and stuff, and they've had key role players on the outside that have been able to knock down some good shots for them. You know, Crestview just, you know, all across the board, you know, boys, girls, doesn't matter, you know, they, they just put a lot of banners up there. Some of them recently been from the volleyball side, which Crestview's been busy at doing that, just that very thing also. Two state championships in volleyball for Liberty Benton in the last five years. Oh, and nice a beautiful pass. pass. Oh. Fed for Ellie Klein. But what a setup to get it done. That's 14 points now for Ellie Klein, coming in averaging 10 points a game. And now it's going to get rimmed off and brought down. Rebounding's been pretty even so far in this game. I got uh, an official Crestview for 16, and Liberty Benton for 13 rebounds. And Callie Gregory from the top. And tipped out and will stay with Crestview. Haley McCoy and Josie Kulwicki stay or come onto the floor. And Metzler and Klein outs. Lady Knights have now ballooned their uh, advantage to 12 points. Working an inside outs. Here's Kulwicki to Klein. Klein dribbles to the top for Callie Gregory. Gregory and Klein, I think they've been pretty much out there the whole time tonight. Yeah, and right now the Crestview, you know, with a 12-point advantage, can really move the ball around. They don't have to hurry any shots. They can look for anything that's open for them. You know, and they're not they're not going to take on low, you know, high percentage shots, that's for sure. Yeah, look for Kennedy Kreider, and she's blocked by Gherkin, but it'll stay Crestview ball. Again, they worked it around, worked it around until they found that open spot underneath the basket. You know, good reaction by Liberty Benton to block it out, but, you know, Crestview got a nice little shot on the inside there. Gregory wide open, three from the left of the arc, or right of the arc. Long rebound off of Liberty Benton, stays with the Knights. Good change in the Crestview lineup for Casey Gregory. Callie Gregory get a little breather here with the Knights up 12. Largest lead of the game for Crestview. Final 240 of the third quarter. Liberty Benton, you know, got the, the DeHart girl in there as well as the Gherkin good girl to put a couple more, you know, rebounding opportunities for him in there. And Hooper with a rebound on a miss by Klein. She had some space to shoot. And good movement around the arc for Liberty Benton. Open near corner for Addie Crow. And a timeout taken by the Lady Eagles, Crow with her second three and a needed bucket there for Liberty Benton and a, and a wise timeout. We'll take it as well and come back for the home of the Eagles, WOSN.
scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Bentley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. 218 left in quarter number three here at Liberty Benson. And Crestview starting to pull away here. Making some buckets, but a big three right before that last timeout. Gave the Eagles a little burst of energy. And yeah, that was Addie Crow's 35th three-pointer of the season. She's taken up just under 100 three-point shots. But, you know, that was a big one right there just to kind of slow down the momentum a little bit. And there Kelly Gregory going to get called for the offensive foul. That's the third against the Lady Knights on the third quarter. You know, that's about what Liberty Benton's looking for here. Anything to slow down that momentum that Crestview was building up and trying to change the rhythm of this game in their favor. A big possession here. Sophia Barbara kicks for Crow. Back to Barbara. There's some size here on the wing and almost threw it away. Hooper, great job to recollect that basketball. Shovels down to Lauren Gherkin. Kick to Barbara. Tipped at the top by Kowicki. Great work. And way to stick with it, Casey Gregory, and goes down, misses the lay-in. Kowicki with the offensive rebound. Gregory open for the shot and scores. Good job by Gregory to get the second chance steal. And then the other Gregory finishes the play. Great work by the Gregories there. Back to an 11 point game, a foul inside on Maya Ensler as Lauren Gherkin was fighting for the basketball down beneath. And it's fine to go in this third quarter. Yeah, Liberty Bend's got to cut down on these turnovers. They got to take better care of the basketball. That last turnover, she should have just picked it up and tried not to dribble it. And Gherkin, turnaround, jumper at the free throw line, draws a foul. So what was a fairly clean first half for Crestview has turned into Liberty Benton finding the bonus in the third quarter. Gherkin's first of two is good. Lady Eagles tonight, four of four at the line. All of them so far made by Gherkin. And she makes again. And if the Eagles want any chance at all of winning this basketball game, that's exactly what they got to continue to do. Get it to Gherkin, let her draw the fouls, get to the foul line as much as they can to score points while the clock's not running. Gregory spins down and oh my. with a smooch off the window. Callie Gregory at 15 points. She is very close to that Crestview all-time scoring record. It can happen any possession now, at least to tie it. She's within three points of time, given the information we had prior to the game tonight. She makes it look easy, too, doesn't she? Yes, she, she does. We'll excel at the NAIA level. And we got a foul down beneath. Looks like away from the basketball. Going to go against Crestview. And it's a Kelly Gregory infraction on a moving screen. <laughs> So Casey Gregory called for the foul. The press has been playing that half court type uh, press, just trying to aggravate a little bit. And we're going to get another foul on Casey Gregory. Fouls on number three, Casey Gregory, her second. Two quick ones. Officials knew they were watching her. Yeah, a little too physical there, trying to fight through a screen. So to the other end for Emma Hooper. First free throw up and good. Hooper held off the board to this juncture of the game. She puts about three points a game. She's hitting 13% uh, of her free throws. She was two for 15 before that one make there. And the second one is missed. Boarded by Maya Esler. Final shot of the quarter coming up. Ellie Klein. And it's thrown away. Just rolled off the fingers of Exler, and Liberty Benton can't do anything with it. 
10 point game after three quarters. We've had a good one here tonight for the Lady Knights. Trying to put the finishing touches on what's been an impressive performance so far. We'll take a timeout return to Liberty Benton on WOSN. Liberty Benton, Crestview by 10 as we start the fourth quarter. Crestview is... Oh my. And thrown away, that's the 13th Eagle turnover. Casey Gregory, pump fake, and able to get defenders to fly by and finish with the layup. She's got eight. That's her first basket of the second half. Ellie Klein with 14 points for Crestview. Callie Gregory with 15. I've seen at least three or four turnovers by Liberty Benton have been just picked out of the sky. And there's Emma Hooper goes down the key and will left-hand floater. Three points now for Hooper. Keeps the contest within 10. Roll down inside for Maya Etzler against a double team, fouled on the attempt. And she'll head to the free throw line. Etzler's been held off the scoreboard for the first half, and now had a bucket in the third, looking to add to it. That foul's going to be called against Dehart. She's a 70% free throw shooter as well. And it is good. A little line drive there, just cleared the front of the net, or the front of the rim. Crestview looking for their fifth win in a row. And that is good again. Crestview up by 12. Crestview now four for four here in the second half. They were four for six from the free throw line in the first half. Three on the way for Dehart. Missed. Secured by Lindsey May and Liberty Benton with a chance on the offensive end. You need a basket desperately here, though. Pro. Hooper. Back of the iron. Etzler tracks down the board. And we got a jump ball. Crestview with the arrow. Six forty left in this fourth quarter. And Crestview with a nice lead. Liberty Benton, though, you, you kind of look down through some things. They have, they have gone through a gauntlet here the last couple of weeks. Oh, they certainly have. Losses to Liberty Center at the end of January. Very good program to the north. Pandora Gilboa in a league game. They took care of business there to remain unbeaten in the BBC. And then they traveled to face Bryan. That's quite the trek into Williams County. And were defeated by 14. And here they are against Crestview. You know, Bryan a year ago. They were a state final four team. And a three-pointer from straight away is hit by Addie Crow. Her third triple of the game. Liberty Benton back to within single digits. Yeah, they can't match baskets at this point with Crestview. They've got to get a, a little bit of a run going if they want to get, you know, get back in this thing. Kennedy Kreider from the top. Jumps away from some trouble. And finds Casey Gregory to set up the offense. Final 5.40 of the game. They go Crestview looking for one more big punch. And that ball poked it out of bounds by Liberty Benton. It's Addie Crow the last touch it. And here Ellie Klein will inbound, but not before Josie Kulwicki enters the basketball game. Sophomore enters for the junior Kreider. Liberty Benton needs a couple turnovers by this Crestview team. Has turned the ball over now four times here in the second half, just three in the first half. Here Callie Gregory from up high, guarded by Lindsey May. Off a screen, kick down for Maya Etzler, and it just rolled off the top wire. Rebounded by Warren Gerken. And a lob inside uh, over the head of Cora Dehart. 14th turnover for Liberty Benson tonight. And too many unforced turnovers as well. Yeah. Like I said, I've seen at least three or four turnovers where 
Presser was just able to pick it right out of the air, you know, on, on these passes. And Liberty Benton's got to do a much better job of, you know, making crisp passes and not letting that happen. Here's Gregory drifting to the right. Drives and now spun along the baseline on a pass. And a three for Casey Gregory off targets. It'll be off of Crestview last. It'll be Liberty, Liberty Benton basketball. Sophia Barber checks back in for Liberty Benton. Great opportunity for Liberty Benton now to cut into that lead even more. Now here's Dehart, pull up. And a little too strong. Callie Gregory boards it, and she just zips by everybody. There she goes, one on three, and scores over the top. And a timeout taken by Crestview. That gets Callie Gregory to 17. By her count, she should be. Her next basket should be enough to take the all-time lead in program history. We'll take a timeout as well. Be back for the remainder of this one on WOSN. Crestview by 11 on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard here at Liberty Benton. Sophia Barber caught, picked up her dribble and has to reverse. Lady Eagles settling in. Needs some big baskets. Dehart with a corner three miss. Lauren Gurkin offensive rebound. Oh scores on God. the putback. That's what you need from a big time player right there. Gurkin with now with 15 points for the night. Close to her averages, 21 and a half. Here, Crestview running through the offense. Coach yelling at him, you know, slow it down and run your offense. Mm -hmm. don't, you know, don't be in a hurry. You don't have to take quick shots now. Here's Gregory, dribbling from the top, spins, gets open, backed up, thought about pulling the trigger there, dumps it down for Maya Etzler. Etzler with some size and with a strong move, finishes right of the hoop. That's six points now for Esler, all in the second half. Esler came in, putting up about eight, eight plus a game. Long three for Gherkin. She gets her own miss. And now the Lady Eagles can try again. It's at one of these points for Liberty Benton to. So they're looking to take the three point oh, shot. There it is. And Crow hits her fourth three of the game. And a timeout called on the floor. We'll step out two and be back for the fourth quarter action here on WOSN. Back at Liberty Benton, where our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Garrett Mansfield, Dara Nevergone, we're gonna this one tonight between the Crestview Lady Knights and, Crest, er, uh, and Liberty Benton Lady Eagles. 47-39 is the lead for Crestview tonight. With the basketball, seeing two of the premier players in all of Northwest Ohio, Crestview's Callie Gregory, Lauren Gherkin of Liberty Benton doing battle here tonight, having great games, and both teams having great seasons. Coming off of great years a year ago, and just good times to be around both of these programs. Here's Ellie Klein, and that shot is blocked, and we're gonna get a tie-up. Arrow is Liberty Benson's. Kowicki was there for Crestview. And Garrett Crestview has pretty much controlled this entire yeah. game. I mean, you know, they, they, they won't, They've won every quarter so far in this game, so they, you know, they've kept themselves, in a, you know, in a fairly comfortable lead. Nice pass inside. Gherkin wanted to tap that back in, but Crestview's Maya Etzler brings the rebound down and draws a foul. Well, they're going to call that against Lauren Gherkin, her second, team second. Eagles are 14 and four. Mentioned moments ago that the losses this year, Fort Lormy, OG, Liberty Center, and Bryant, all quality opponents 
that are sure to be playing meaningful basketball late into February and maybe even into March. Oh, absolutely. And Fort Laramie has just got a phenomenal program going for them down there. I mean, Otto Glendar's only losses to Fort Laramie, so. Yep. Yeah, here's Crestview coming up out of the backcourt. And Crestview is a Division IV program, taking on a Division II squad in Liberty Benson. Now, Liberty Benton, of course, one of the, on the smaller scale of Division II, but Division II nonetheless. And this is one of the potential, potential issues I see, Dar, with the separating into further divisions that's being floated around is, yeah. you know, yeah, the enrollment, you know, you're talking about a couple dozen maybe differences, uh, division to division, and the, really the only division that needs to be really looked at under the microscope would be Division One, but even then, even then, it's uh, kind of a moot point, because you're seeing well, two programs separated by two divisions here, and we got good basketball. Oh, absolutely, and you know, these schools do have to travel, I mean. <laughs> yes. You know, so you start splitting them out, and you know, they're gonna end up having to play a lot of higher division schools than they are, you know. Yeah, timeout on the floor, full timeout taken by Crestview, we'll take it two. Back for the final minute and a half while you're on WOSN. One thirty-three left to go in the basketball game down at Liberty Benson tonight. Crestview, the Lady Knights, with the trek over here near Finley to take on the Lady Eagles. Good contest through and through. Callie Gregory with 17 points. She needs two to become the all-time leading scorer in Crestview Not Lady Night basketball history. Oh, she's gonna get and two shots of foul line. She has a foul, <laughs> will head to the free throw line. An 82% free throw shooter. So Gregory with 118. And Crestview by eight. First one is up and good. Changes for the Lady Eagles. We got Barbara and Dehart checking back in the game. May and Elise Hooper check out. And the second one is good. That's it. That is the record maker for Callie Gregory. 1,743 career points for Callie Gregory. And they're going to stop the contest here for just a moment to allow Kelly Gregory to soak in the moment. And a good show of sportsmanship across the way for Liberty Benton. The fans come to their feet, recognizing a tremendous honor and a great achievement for Kelly Gregory. But I tell you what, she may be the first to say, I could not do it without our coaches and teammates. Oh, absolutely. But what a phenomenal player. I mean, just, you know, has all the athleticism, you know, great shooter, great shooter at the free throw line, and that's where she got a record at tonight. Now here's Cole Wickey from the top. As Crestview gets back to the final minute of business, up by 10. Ellie Klein's had a tremendous night. She has the ball poked away and stolen, but we have a foul coming back the other way. They're gonna get the Knights in some frustration. And it's Klein, her third. Fifty seconds left in the basketball game, and this win would move Crestview to 18 and two. Next time out, they will have Wayne Trace. They will go to the Palace. Corner three for Dehart clangs off. It'll be another big non-conference game. This one a little bit more close to home. Next time out for the Lady Eagles. Later this week, they'll head to Riverdale for a conference game of the BBC. Final 30 seconds, and Callie Gregory, the senior, averages 19.2. She scored 19 today to take the program's all-time lead in scoring at Crestview. Great game for Ellie Klein with 14. And just another just complete contest for the Crestview Lady Knights to pick up the win tonight. Yeah, it certainly was. Like I said, they controlled this one pretty much all night long. 
They did everything they needed to do. They kept Liberty Benton away from the inside of the basket as much as they could. Pretty much controlled Gurton. She got her 15 points, but, you know, below, six points below her average and just really controlled their, the inside of the game. You know, held their own on the rebounding with this team. Big thing in this one was the turnover, so, you know, uh, Liberty Benton giving the ball away 15 times to just eight times for uh, Crestview, and that was a biggie right there, you know, because that just killed any momentum, you know, Liberty Benton could ever try to build. They couldn't get any rhythm, you know, and Crestview was able to just build on that. Another strong pre-tournament test for both of these schools. Crestview getting the victory, 49-39 on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard tonight. The Lady Eagles of Liberty Benton dropped to 14 and five. Uh, still very much in play, undefeated in the Buckeye or the Blanchard Valley Conference to be able to go on and win an eighth straight league title. That is what's at stake in the bigger picture for the Liberty Benton Lady Eagles. For Crestview, they're in position to get their, get uh, an 18th Northwest Conference Championship. And what a night for Kelly Gregory again, uh, being able to achieve all-time scoring glory at Crestview. Ellie Klein had 14 to join her in double figures. Casey Gregory had eight. Great contest out of the freshman for Crestview. Two in double figures for Liberty Benton tonight with Lauren Gherkin and Addy Crow for four three-pointers for the Lady Eagles. And from Dar Nevergal, I'm Garrett Mansfield. Also from our crew, Megan Sherrick, we're saying good night from Liberty Benton and thank you for watching High School Hoops tonight on WOSN.